Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to our holiday series. Today we're going to be smoking Texas-sized turkey legs. Well, we weren't planning on doing a turkey leg video as part of our holiday series, but yesterday my family went to the State Fair of Texas, and of course I had to have myself a monster turkey leg for 18 coupons, and I felt like we chewed on that thing for half the afternoon and it was awesome. So I thought, you know what, we're gonna make a video on this, and I wanna replicate it as best I can. I know there's a few videos out there like this where folks talk about the Disneyland turkey legs and they cure them. Well, I don't want my turkey to taste like ham, so we're gonna do this meat shirt style. I've never done this, and so we're trying this together. I think it's gonna be awesome, and we'll see. So here's what we did. I used our bird bath brine, mixed up the brine uh, in a large pot, and I added a little extra pepper, and I actually put a little bit of our gospel in it because I wanna get these turkey legs that beautiful color you're used to at the fair. I heated it up and dissolved it and let the brine completely cool. And once that happened, uh, I poured that mixture into a bag here, and I brined these overnight. Now, I've got some monsters, and I've got some smaller ones too. So I've got one of each here to show you but the big ones are two and a half pounds. The smaller ones are just over a pound. And like I said, I brined them overnight. And you can see this is a big boy right here. That's gonna, that's gonna be probably about two and a quarter pounds. And then I've got a kind of smaller one. I found these both at local grocery stores. Um, I got the smaller ones at HEB. I got the big ones at the Foodland in Waxahachie. So I need to rinse these off to get all this brine mixture off of here so it's not too salty and pat them dry. So I'm gonna take this over to the sink, rinse them off, and we'll get to work here in just a second. All right, these are rinsed and patted dry, so we need to season them. Now I'm using a topper board here. Uh, that way I can do raw prep on this. It's another one of my rosewood blocks. Let's see what we got going. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna actually peel the skin back. You've probably seen me do this on chicken before. I like to season the skin uh, on poultry, or underneath the skin on poultry, um, so that you know when you bite that skin, if it were to come off, you can still get a nice seasoned bite. So you can use your fingers, you can use a knife. Just kind of work underneath here. Be gentle so that you don't rip that skin. We're gonna make it nice and pretty at the end just peel it back. It'll be a little membrane if you need to use your boning knife to encourage it a little, go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and work on both these skins real quick, pull them back all the way. There you go. All right, I'm gonna do this other one and then we'll season. Now this smaller one is, uh, is a little more difficult. I definitely prefer the bigger ones. Plus, the big ones are gonna look good on the gram. All right, let me go clean hand here so that I can season. I'm gonna go with the gospel. This is our all purpose. It's a Southwestern style rub. So I think it works great with a Texas sized turkey leg. You can use what you want, but we often say that this has the best color in barbecue. And again, I'm looking for that, you know, bright red color, um, kind of, I don't know, turning mahogany that you expect at the fair. So I think in our arsenal, uh, the gospel is the one that's gonna give us the best shot at that. But like I always say, use what you want. You might have a rub that's uh, near and dear to your heart, something that's personal, something you make yourself. I make my own rub too. I just put it in a bottle and sell it to you. Look at that, that looks pretty. So what I'm gonna try to do here with one hand is kind of put this jacket back on uh, on the leg here. It's actually a drumstick, if you want to get technical. But look at that. Put it on there, now I'm gonna season. Now keep in mind, you already seasoned the meat, so however much you season is up to you. Since I do this for a living, I like to think I know the amount I want on here, but hey, that's whatever you guys like. But this is gonna have a beautiful color. 
and I'm gonna let this adhere for about 15 minutes, and then it's gonna be time to go in the smoke. Uh, we are cooking today on our mill scale 94 gallon offset. So we've got that fire going. It should be nice and settled by the time this is adhered. So I'll see you guys back here in just a minute to load these up. All right, guys, the seasoning is adhered. It's been 15, 20 minutes or so, so it's time to put them on the pit. So today, again, I'm cooking on a mill scale, 94 gallon offset, 250 degrees. Uh, we're cooking with post oak, the Texas way. You clearly could cook this on any type of smoker that you have. Right off the bat, you're gonna see some that we've got rolling in here already. And I'll talk to you about those in just a second. So over here to the right, you can see that we've got a, uh, a piece of wood here. This acts as a fire block, just so that you don't blast your meat right here with the, the heat that comes right out of the firebox. We've also got a water pan running here. Um, I have spritzed these uh, legs a couple times with a mix of kind of cider vinegar and water, a couple times during the cook to keep them nice and moist. But these big ones have been cooking two hours and 45 minutes. But the most important thing is not the time, it's the temperature. Using your instant read thermometer, using our Thermapin MK4 here, uh, we temp these right before we started this. They're just over 160 degrees. 165 is the number you're looking for, but I like to pull my poultry about 160 uh, so that it doesn't, doesn't dry out. So I know these are ready to rock and roll and they look so good. Look at these monsters. The smaller ones, which I'll pull out here in a second, we actually put these on a little bit later to time them right. So they've been cooking around two hours on these little guys. And they're not that little, I mean, they're bigger than a chicken leg, but small compared to these, uh, these Texas monsters over here. We're gonna let those cook and I'm gonna let these cool off for a minute because I'm ready to eat. So I'll see you back here at the butcher block in just a minute. Well, I don't know if I've ever been any more excited uh, during a video to try it because this is real. I haven't done this before, but can we take just a second to admire the size of these legs? If these legs were two and a half pounds, that means this turkey was like 50 pounds. So I guess that's how we do it here in Texas, but I've let these bad boys cool off. And obviously I can tell they're gonna be juicy. So let's do it. Oh my God. so good and you can see like if the skin comes off don't worry you know you've seasoned underneath but golly that's good i'm just going to tell you that's better than the state fair i'm not sure at the fair if they even season them so this gospel took them next level and man the juice in that thing right there this brine you guys already know our brine is our most popular product in the fall so whether you use our brine from meatchurch.com or you make your own I'm a big, big, big believer in that. I got a guest here, Levi. Y'all might remember Levi from the bologna chub video and you heard him here just a little bit earlier. Come here, buddy. You want a bite? I know you do, sit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There you go. It's his dad's birthday today, so he gets a treat. Anyway, you guys can do this at home in your backyard. Heck, it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving. This was awesome, huge fan of this. So if you guys like this, please like and subscribe our channel. Heck, tell all your friends about us. Check out the holiday playlist. It's going to be rolling all through the fall. We're going to be helping you guys become the hero at your holiday table. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you all next week.